Hi, Stan Bunker here from United Learning's EdTech team. I'm going to show you a quick overview of Sway. Now Sway is one of the apps in Office 365 and if you log into office.com you'll find Sway on your Office 365 dashboard. Let's take a look at a Sway that I've produced earlier. Sway is available by a single URL so it's a one-page website that can contain multiple content. In this example Sway, I've got a title page with my class and I've got a date. Now this date can be updated every day or every week and the content can be updated, but the URL, the website can stay the same. So in this way, I've got some text messages I've got some pictures to break up the text and also to support dual coding where necessary. I've also included some video content that will help with the engaging the pupils and also bring alive some of the concepts that we're trying to get over. In this way, I've also got a link to my OneDrive where there are some worksheets. If I click on that, it'll open OneDrive where I've created a folder especially for this activity. And that folder has been made available uh, via uh, anyone can access link. Also in my Sway, I've got images and other videos, uh, a task maybe for the children to do. In this case, they're going to watch um, a YouTube video that's brought into my Sway. It's the BBC Teach series and they've got a whole series of questions to uh, follow up having watched that video. Also in your Sway, you can put links to any webinars you're holding or video conferencing. Again, just like I've put in my OneDrive link, I can add links to uh, Skype for Business webinars. So Sway is going to be a very useful holder for us. It can be accessed via a mobile phone or an iPad and it will render to fit the screen of the end user, making it a very simple way for pupils and parents to access your content. In the next video, we'll look at how to construct a sway.